it's Miss Dom and today I've opened up a Jamboard to talk to you a little bit about anthropomorphic animals and objects. So you may notice uh, the slide that this recording is in. You can see that people have been creating anthropomorphic animals and we see anthropomorphic things all the time and throughout history. So there's a very ancient carving that combines the features of a man and a bird. And then of course below that are cartoons of some more re recent iterations of that where uh, people created cartoon characters that have uh, the names of uh, ducks and yet they walk around and move like a human being. And so you can see this a lot in your children's book, picture book illustrations, uh, cartoons and movies that you might watch. Um, and sometimes they, they just appear to you. So uh, I like this one right here uh, because that's sort of accidental. I don't know if you've ever Sometimes when I'm driving around, the car in front of me, the, the shape of the bumper and the, the, the lights, the brake lights might sort of suggest a face or you look at something and it suggests a face. And so there you have some doors um, that, are, that sort of suggest the look of a face. So as human beings, we're always looking uh, for other human beings that's sort of built into us. Um, and then as artists, we sort of build on that. And so you can see in this one right here, somebody just took uh, some nuts and some wire and created a little sculpture and created these human-like creatures from the nuts. Uh, this one right here um, is a fairly realistic drawing uh, of a cheetah. And, but then they put them in a little suit with a bow tie and gave them a little eye patch and suddenly um, that cheetah looks more human-like. So the idea of something that's anthropomorphic, in other words, giving human-like qualities to an animal or an object, um, it has been going on for a long, long time. Uh, and we're gonna give that a try. So there's different ways you can do this, okay? Um, what I am doing is I'm using Jamboard and that is something that you do have access to. You may have used it before. Um, I did a lot of Jamboard drawings in the spring where I did draw alongs and I think um, some of the classroom teachers told me you were familiar with Jamboard. So it's something that you can do. And all I did was an image search to find the examples on the top to share with you. And then I decided I wanted to make anthropomorphic pomegranates. It's pomegranate season. Uh, as I'm recording this and that's a fruit you don't get year round and I always like to get them when they're available and that's a picture of two um, pomegranates and so I am going to be drawing on them and trying to give them human-like qualities and so you can start with an image like I'm going to do uh, you can do it digitally like I'm going to do or you can just draw it out uh, or you could do like the person who created the little nut statues. You could actually uh, create something more three-dimensional from actual objects and draw on them. Uh, one time I took a roll of toilet paper and held it sideways and then when I pinched it, the little center part sort of looked like a mouth so I drew some little eyes um, on it and it kind of looked like a little creature that way. <laughs> So again, you're just being creative and, and using something that your brain is already kind of programmed to do is seeing a face in something. So I'm going to take my drawing tool and I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to start with white and I'm going to start giving these pomegranates a couple of eyes. switch to black and just by adding those little eyes I've already started to give it a little bit of a character okay uh, and then I can go in here and add a little nose Stand out too much. And then 
mouth. So you can see how already I started to give this little pomegranate personality and you know kind of Sometimes just a few little details is all you need, or you could go in and, and kind of keep going with it and give it more details. Just gonna give that a little bit of an outline. And then suddenly that little pomegranate just comes to life. And it starts to look like a little person, and then you could even turn part into the hat. Can sort of get creative with and see what your brain suggests to you when you look at different things um, and you can sort of have fun with it so give it a try thinking in terms of anthropomorphic animals or objects and so you can decide uh, what sort of animal or object you want to start with and then how can you make it look more human like what can you do to give it the illusion of being sort of animated or have human-like qualities? So I'm going to allow you some time to go ahead and think about that and decide how you want to do it. Again, um, it's not that difficult to do using the jam board, which is what I just did. Uh, but of course, you can always find pictures from a magazine uh, or an illustration uh, from, you know, even from your junk mail, uh, wherever you can find inspiration, just kind of look around and see what's available to you if you don't want to work on the computer. Um, so it was, a you know, if you don't have a little stylus, I have a little stylus, so that makes it a little bit easier to, to work on the computer, but sometimes that can be difficult if you're having to use your mouse. Um, but the other thing might be, um, is to do a search for, you know, particular features you want to add and sort of layer pictures and, and do it that way. So, again, many, many possibilities to play around with this idea of giving something human qualities and then creating something whimsical, something fun or silly or unique. Um, or maybe even somewhat dignified, like that cheetah uh, up above. So have fun playing around with this idea. I hope you come up with amazing art. Please share with me if you do. Goodbye.